why do we solve mathematics? Let me give you three reasons. Or three reasons. Calculation, application, and inspiration. What's up mga kamandaya vlog? So today, I will be discussing to you how to evaluate function. And first and foremost, a function is defined as a branch of mathematics wherein any equation is being substituted by an equivalent of a certain values, such as values of x. And function, did you know that it is classified into three, namely linear, quadratic, and cubic? And how to determine this or how to classify this equation? As simple as that, if the exponent is 1, automatically, or the highest degree is 1, it is called linear. If the highest degree is 2, then it is called quadratic equation or quadratic function, should I say. And if the highest degree is 3, then it is called cubic. And without further any rumor, let us start evaluating. For example, this equation 4x plus 10 or f of x is equal to equivalent to 4x plus 10. For example, the, the x value is 5. The only way to evaluate is just to substitute the values of x. And if you can see this equation, it has a variable which has the highest degree is 1. Therefore, it is called linear. And to evaluate this, we need to substitute the values of x. And x is equal to 5. Therefore, f of 5 is equal to 4 of negative 5 plus 10. So, f of negative 5 equals to 4 times negative 5 plus 10. So, to solve this equation or to solve these numbers, we need to follow the PEMDAS pattern which stands for parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and sub subtraction. And because there is no uh, exponent nor any bracket or parenthesis, we will, we will first solve this 4 times negative 5. f of negative 5 equals to 4 times negative 5 equals to negative 20 plus 10. And using the property of addition of integer, adding different terms or adding different sign of number, we need to subtract and copy the sign which is in a bigger, a bigger number. In this case, f of 5, negative 20 plus 10, is we need to subtract 20 minus 10 is equals to 10, and 20 is bigger than 10, therefore, the answer is negative, and the second type of function is what we call the quadratic function and to determine or to classify this equation we need to uh, take, a, take a look at the biggest degree which is 2 therefore it is an example of quadratic function substitute the value of x so substituting the value of x we have f of 3 equals to 3 squared plus 4 times 3 minus 9. f of 3 equivalent to 9 then plus 4 times 3 equivalent to 12 minus 9. As you can see, 9 there is a number which is 9, different sign but the same number. Therefore, 
auto automatically we are equivalent to zero because nine minus nine equals to zero, and the last number is twelve. Therefore, we conclude that f of x equals to x squared plus four x minus nine. If x is equal to three, then f of three is equivalent to twelve, and that is the second type of function, which is the quadratic one. And the last type of function classification is what we call cubic. And how to determine if, if the equation is cubic? Highest degree of an exponent is 3, therefore it is called as cubic. Okay. And for example, the x is 2. Given this equation, we have f of x equals to or f of 2 equals to 2 cubed plus 2 2 squared plus 4 2 minus 7. So we have this equation. In solving this, again we need to follow the PEMDAS pattern. 2 times 2, 4 times 2 equivalent to 8. We have 8 plus 2 squared equivalent to 4 times 2 equivalent to 8 plus 4 times 2, 8 again, minus 7, 16 plus 1. Because 8 plus 8, 16, 8 minus 7, 1. So f of 2, finally we have this. Seven. So that is how to solve or to evaluate function in cubic. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching.